So I work at CBC and my role, I, I run the uh, digital product development team and, and our role within the organization is to be kind of the internal futurists. Uh, we're to go around the bend before everybody else, come back and then rattle everybody's cage to let them know what they need to pay attention to. And mobile is really one of those things that uh, has been catching people by surprise and the more that we learn about it, we think we understand it, it just keeps changing so fast that we're surprised on a continuous basis. We went into this space with a lot of baggage in terms of the assumptions that we were making. You know, we made those same assumptions that people are just going to be snacking. And what we found was no, actually, they're, they're consuming full-length content, they're reading whole books, they're watching full episodes, they're watching movies. We also assumed that there would be on the go all the time and that's when they're primarily using their mobile devices and now there's a lot of data that's showing no, actually, uh, one of the top spots where people are consuming media through their mobile devices is at home. So a lot of the assumptions that we brought into it, we really had to drop. And it's important that you keep that in mind because it's changing so quickly, you can't judge the space based on your past experience. So if you do anything right now online, you really do need to be thinking long and hard about how you're going to be shifting that activity to the mobile space. And that was one of the big conclusions that we came to at CBC was that we went in thinking that mobile was less than the web. And after the last several years, we've come out of it realizing that mobile is so much more than the web. Not only do, can it do everything that the web can do, but it can do more because it knows where you are, it knows who you are, it's the location-based services, push notifications, all kinds of things that the, the desktop web can't do. You need to have a good mobile presence. You can't just rely on your uh, standard website anymore because consumers are shifting away from the PC and they're starting to engage with their mobile devices more and more. And the expectation is, is that the experience that you're offering on your website is what you're going to offer through your mobile device. First, make sure your website is compatible with iOS, which means get rid of all your flash. That way you're hitting 80% of the tablets your site is accessible by uh, most smartphones. They may have to pinch and zoom. The experience isn't great, but at least it's accessible and all of the content that you're presenting uh, can be viewed by people that are navigating to your site. So if at bare minimum that's all you do, at least people will find you. But you really should have a mobile version of your website as well. And then finally, start integrating mobile into your marketing campaign. That's where your customers are going. They're already engaging with their mobile devices in, in that uh, uh, retail environment. Take advantage of that.